the desired capabilities which are nothing but this one here correct if you see the eclipse so you, you are providing these caps into this particular initialization so that you are telling this remote web driver go and use this tapm server and connect with this particular capabilities of mobile which is available now if you correlate this with our apm architecture this is the code what we are writing this code will tell where your apm server is running okay your apm server is running in 127.0.0.1 which is nothing but local host and what is the mobile device that is connected here it is a mobile or a tablet whatever it is in the form of desired capabilities so So clear guys, so any query still here before we uh, execute or write, now to launch uh, browser, same selenium code guys, there is no change in code, it is the same selenium code, but we were, since we are passing this mobile capabilities and APM server is uh, running here, the code will execute in the mobile device okay so any queries till here guys so let let us execute and see what happens now Before this, let's put some tail bits. Launch URL success. Then we will see driver don't quit. So, since we have executed this code, it will hit the APM and check all the list of connected devices available here. You can see the APM server logs running, guys, here. Now, just go to here. If you see the logs cleanly here, it is telling this is the capabilities which it is passed. Okay, and your APM is communicating with your adb.exe. Clear? If you see here, each and every option what we discussed in our past two sessions is logged in your APM. It is communicating with your adb.exe and it is communicating with Android SDK. Now, finally, if your mobile device is detected, it is starting UI Automator. Okay, it is starting UI Automator. Now, there was some unexpected error from UI Automator. So, let me just open the mobile device again so let me stop this program and re-execute this and check for the APM logs if you see here now ADB is executing here once the device is successfully found out 
then UI automator will start. Encoder internal error, no Chrome driver found, cannot automate Chrome 53, see GitHub, okay? Because this APM server is the very latest one which we have downloaded and the uh, my uh, uh, my mobile is in a very very older version which is kit or lollipop 5.1 is a lollipop version so uh, let's download older version of chrome driver and place it in apm installation path Go to this particular path. Shit. You can download Chrome driver from this GitHub location. For version, what is our Chrome version here? It is mentioning. It is mentioning 53.0.27. So. so go to the particular 53 version so this is the chrome driver which we need to download for windows 32 show in folder unzip this chrome driver here copy this chrome and where we need to put this in selenium we were directly putting right so what about apm where exactly we need to put this we need to put in this particular location apm node modules base driver location protocol so you can check uh, the apm logs itself See program files, one module, Chrome driver. So copy till the location from here. Our APM is installed, APM server is installed here. Now Chrome driver, Windows, this is the Chrome driver which is currently used. Make it as old. And let's copy the latest Chrome driver which we have downloaded now. Let's stop the server, restart the server so that uh, the Chrome instance is fetched again. Execute this Java code again. Check the APM. So read your APM logs, guys. It is not a rocket science. So let me launch my mobile device here. So if you see here, mobile mobile device Google Chrome is launched and it has closed here. So there is no error logs, no red color logs is available here. Everything is smooth because it was an issue with my Chrome driver. Now let me put some wait time here so that you can see the device chrome launcher let me put 10 seconds throw an interpreter exception let me re-execute the script and show my mobile screen here the APM server initially it is communicating with ADB, then UI Automator, then with Chrome driver. Now it is started executing. So now the Chrome driver is pushing the scripts in the form of HTTP. If you see here, these are the HTTP logs. Clear. Now it will wait for 10 seconds. Then this will test will get closed. Clear, guys. So any queries in this one? If you remove this step, if you remove this step, it is a simple Selenium code. 
now if you add this one it is a mobile automation that is the only change guys no extra changes are there for mobile automation for mobile web. we have some test cases right uh, which are written for selenium uh, demos we will execute the same test cases in tomorrow session if any queries now I can take up the queries and we can wind up the session are you clear with this mobile script guys any queries Ninad, Pallavi, Prakash, Chandan, Vanita, are you clear? Any queries here? We will uh, have a recap in tomorrow session. Uh, we will check guys, we will check it again. Yeah, Jenkins will be covered in our last day, uh, Sayali. We will cover it on Friday. Jenkins. In APM, there is still a lot to go, guys, because we have just seen only mobile web. Uh, tomorrow, half of the time, we will discuss about mobile web and some operations. So, uh, as like Selenium, I'm not going in de in detail like uh, drop downs, all the options, because the code is same both for Selenium and APM. So, you can work with uh, that. Uh, so from tomorrow second off you will see what is uh, how to do setup for native application automation and we need to discuss about UI automator also then we also have APM recorder uh, in the latest APM version we will see about the APM recorder as well okay uh, Friday is the last date for this one I think uh, your batch is pipelined again for performance testing uh, performance testing is handled by other trainer. I'm not aware of that. So for mobile, for Selenium, uh, BDD Cucumber, Jenkins, and with this uh, mobile automation for native hybrid and web will be uh, last one Friday. So you can come up with any queries uh, on the all the topics or courses, whatever we have covered in your previous session. We'll be very happy to help and discuss that in session. So on Friday I will have half an hour slot uh, uh, for Q&A for all the complete courses whatever we have covered. So we can come up with that guys. Okay for today if no queries we are already running out of time. Uh, thanks, thanks guys for joining the session. Have a great day.